Hello everyone, welcome to this Keys Online video. My name is Nuno Louro and to today we are talking about my setup and the changes that I felt the need to make throughout the year of 2022 and that considering the perspectives that I have right now will remain for 2023. As I stated in the video where I showed my keyboard collection that you can watch here with English subtitles, for some time I have been using as main keyboards two Yamaha models which are the Mod X8 and the YC61. Why? Well, first of all because they're both sound great and they're relatively affordable keyboards and allow you to do all kinds of gigs. For me the big advantage was the weight. The YC61 weighted something like 7 kilos and the Mod X8 about 13 for a full weighted piano keyboard which I think is very good. And I've used this setup for two years. I'm, we've done a lot of concerts, big stage concerts, pubs, events, and I'm, I confess I was really satisfied, but, but, but there's always a but. Let's talk about the Modi X first. During all the time that I played with the Modi X, I also had another gigs where I played with the CP88, which is the keyboard I use when the piano assumes an important role. I don't know if it's in my head, but I think the CFX sample sounds better in the CP and the keyboard is a lot better because it has a lot better response, it has the wood feel and then the synthetic ivory and ebony. And uh, for instance, to change the distortion on the road, on the fly, or add a pad or increase the reverb from some music part. Um, there are always very simple things to do because of the knob per function layout, so it's very convenient. It would happen to me that after playing a gig with the CP88, I would go back to play with the Modi X8 and I felt that I was no longer satisfied. And with the much use that the Modi X got, I also started to feel that the keyboard was getting a little tired. Most of all on the mid-range section, the response was not the quite you know, was not quite the same as it was when it was new, which is normal for a keyboard that has a lot of use, especially if you play in the middle of a rock band without sometimes without good munition and with a keyboard player who tends to play hard, which is my case. So I started to have more and more desire to always take the CP88. And I believe that if you have the best instruments and the best conditions to play, you will always play better. So taking the CP88 posed a problem. I needed to have a more versatile keyboard with more sound capabilities and that would allow me, for example, to trigger an audio file for an intro or connect a microphone to have a vocoder effect, to use an appreciator, etc. All things that I used to do with the Mod X8. So for someone who plays with Yamaha, what's the best solution? Well, it's easy, it's a Montage 6 or 7, of course, but there's always the possibility of the Modi X, but I think the Montage series is on a different league, uh, also thanks to the FSX keyboard, which is a delight to play. So I soon decided I would prefer a Montage 6. But there was another problem, the organ sounds. If you watch the video I made about the montage, which you can watch right here at, with English subtitles, my main criticism was precisely that the organ sounds, especially those that imitate the famous Hammond B3, uh, were not at the level of other keyboards, uh, and in this case of, of, were not at the level of the YC with its dedicated VCM engine. But I still decided to switch. I Notice that the projects that I have been playing lately don't have such a big emphasis on the organ sound and maybe it's not just not such a priority as it used to be for me of course uh, but I think also the music today is going in a different direction I don't know if you agree with me if you do please uh, give me your opinion on the comment section anyway for some special situation I always have my Hammond XK5 
And so I swapped the YC for the Montage 6. This one is a special one because it was the first Montage I ever owned and it has um, some war marks and everything. So it's kind of came back home and I swapped the Mori X for the CP88. And then the cherry on the top of the cake, I installed the Organimation sound expansion and I found an organ sound that I find, I find quite satisfying uh, with the advantage that it can be controlled with the super knob like, uh, with, like it, if it was the draw bars. The truth is, with these two keyboards, I can play all kinds of concerts in all kinds of situations. The Montage 6 is a very powerful machine and the CP88 fulfills all the necessary requirements of a stage piano. In my opinion, it's still the best uh, sound, keypad, keyboard, um, price, weight ratio that you have on the market. However, I have promoted some derivations. For instance, at the Evil Lukas concert, I decided to take my Prophet Rev 2 instead of the Montage 6, simply because it has a more unique sound and more chances to control and change the sound in real time. The pads and leads are a really special treat in this Prophet Rev 2. However, uh, I do have an issue with it, which is the fact that we don't have a numeric panel or um, a, a dedicated button to change the sound. And I confess uh, to play live, it's kind of hard. So I thought about switching to the Prophet 6 just because of that. It's more geared to, towards playing live. Who knows? Maybe, maybe soon. And this goes back to my initial question. What is the ideal setup for a keyboard player? Well, in my case, my setup reflects the work I'm going through right now. So I use two keyboards that allow me to do everything without major issues and without exactly giving up much. And considering that I'm um, always playing with different projects, the versatility is very important. However, I may be the first to recognize that it's a very generic setup. So that's why I incorporated the Rev2, just to be able to experiment with different colors. And um, let's see if this model won't also enter the equation. So what is important, important here is to define what we prefer and what we need. For instance, there are people who worry about the weight, as I in my other setup. Um, they want light keyboards that do as much as possible, such as the Mori X or the Nord Stage 3 Compact, the Phantom 07 or the Korg Nautilus 73, for instance. There are people who need to have the best piano and don't care about the weight. So for those, there are options like the CP88, of course, then the Nord Piano 5, the Nord Grand, the Roland RD2000 or the Kelway options, just to mention the more popular. Then. There are those brave keyboard players that I admire a lot, although I can't be like that, which are those who take the keyboards they like and adapt them to concerts. That monophonic move that is only on stage to make some unique leads one or two times during the whole concert, or that OV6 that transports everything we are listening into that unique 80s Oberheim sound. So those are very brave people. In another kind of setup, some people are happy with the controller keyboard and the computer that simply opens up the spectrum of possibilities to the infinite. So 
But those people are quite brave as well because if it fails, you won't have keyboards for a lot of time. Another thing I try to think about as a freelancer who often has to be substituted, I try to make sure that my setup is not so out of the box that then there is no one, no one else who can sound the same or almost the same. Or that it's not so complex to operate that even if they use my keyboards or my setup, it's hard to understand how it all works. And another thing, the trends. Uh, sometimes we play with stuff that doesn't really satisfy us or doesn't really satisfy our needs because this or that keyboard player uses it and we think we have to use it too. Uh, I say this especially for the younger people. Uh, think with your heads and with your ears and beware of the hypes. And always try before you buy. So, now I would like to know, do you agree with me? Do you think that my setup is a good setup? Uh, what is your ideal setup? Um, and do you, you agree with all those things that I've said during the video? I want to read your opinion on the comment section. Please do so. Well, the video is already long. It was my little dissertation about what is the ideal setup. If you like this or the other videos on the channel, uh, many of them are subtitled, please subscribe and drop a like to always be up to date. Thank you very much for the time you dedicated to me on this video and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.